Let's learn about using the custom component with a practical demonstration. To start, let's add a new custom component. When working with a custom component, you have the choice of using a list, details, and summary. The list is equivalent to working with a table component where you have many records being displayed. The details is only for a single record and is generally only available inside of a details page. Finally, the summary is similar to the card component where you can show a summary value from a number field inside of your data table. After selecting a component type, you need to select which data table will be used in this component. This is similar to the behavior you've likely experienced in any other component. Much of the navigation on the left will look familiar to you, except now you see a code editor taking up the majority of your screen. This editor is where you can add the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and any external libraries required for your component. The custom component relies heavily on a JavaScript library called Handlebars. Handlebars is a templating engine that converts an expression into HTML. The expression is written by putting a value surrounded by two curly braces. So for example, putting a field ID inside of this expression will output the field value when the page is loaded. This templating library also has ways of working with arrays or lists of data. In our case, the component would load many records, so we therefore must loop through each record. This is done with a each helper. You must start the each helper with a hash or pound sign and end it with a forward slash. All HTML and expressions entered between the start and end will be used for every record being displayed. Let's look at an example. Inside the each block, let's add a heading tag and then add a field from the left into the heading tag. Save and preview and you will see each record's value is now shown inside of the heading tag. Keep in mind that only fields that are checked off will be loaded. If you don't see a check mark in the list of fields, even if the code contains the field ID, the field will appear blank. If we load an example from the library, you'll quickly see some of the visual benefits of building with a custom component. I'll choose one of the pre-built designs and change the values with the values from the database. In the next video, we'll look at working with helpers and add advanced functionality inside of our expressions.